everyone and welcome back to another video on the NA Garage YouTube channel. It has been absolutely too much time uh, since the last video which I wasn't even talking in. Uh, it was just a, uh, you know, just a little bit of a montage of the driving up a road that I usually go to when I want to have a little bit of fun. And I'm also very dark right now, so yeah, this is better. Uh, so yeah, today I just wanted to talk about the Audi TT. It's 16 years old. This one, the exact one I own, it's a 2007. And how does it hold up? Well, let's talk about that. So the interior portion of the car actually is holding up really well. As you can see, the buttons are almost intact except for, except for right there on the button the switch for the headlights very good and the seats have seen better days but you know oh well, it's 16 years old so what could you expect like it this probably was a daily car it has 129,000 kilometers on the clock so this is around 100 20,000 miles I think and the exterior uh, it's dirty right now but just don't mind that it looks absolutely gorgeous the car has been polished by me uh, we'll talk about that in another video but the car's holding up really well like I mean you're pro it's probably hard to hear me right now but the car has some scuffs from the rocks so this bumper will need repainting uh, but otherwise yeah the car's holding up good the service history is from uh, 2007 upwards it has been logged ever since every uh, service record and everything has been done to the car well you probably heard in the video that uh, the turbo is loud and I will show you why so this is the engine bay. I should have uh, maybe turned it off, but it's okay for now. It's. I hope it's not too loud. Well, this is the intake that I have on it. Well, there's no guard right here. I'm working on getting that because there's none for the Mark II TT that would be actually affordable. So yeah, this is the intake. Uh, it has no blow valve or anything. It just sounds really, really good and crisp. And this is why I love it so much. So the things you should be careful when buying these are this thing right here that I'm showing you right now. It leaks all around here and this has been done prior to my ownership. And what I also have done is this thing right here. This is the solenoid or something for the high pressure fuel pump that you need to change like the o-ring or something so this is what i have changed uh, the oil that i'm running right now is uh, the uh, it's valvoline 540 which i absolutely love valvoline could spon sponsor me so uh, yeah because uh, it is way cheaper than what so the oil that's inside the car is obviously as i just told you 540 uh, I've been using 530 LL, so that stands for long life from Castrol, but uh, that really didn't go well because the car was drinking so much oil that I couldn't even keep up with it. Like every 500 kilometers, I would have to almost put a liter in the car of the oil. But since changing to the uh, 540 Valvoline, well, it's been a lot better. Actually, the oil consumption is way, way, way down. Probably because piston rings and, you know, the car gets old. So I think the 540 is helping that because honestly, 530 is just like water. When you pour it out, it's just like water. But yeah, the big service is the one thing that you absolutely need to do to the car. Well, my one, my one still has a timing belt as opposed to a timing chain. And that has been done as soon as I got the car. Like I think in the first month I've done that because it was due. But other than that, the car drove perfectly. I mean, disc brakes, everything's fine. Uh, nothing else to mention really. Like the, for example, the small things like the light bulb went out. And oh, I have a bigger thing that I want to mention. But you'll have to wait for that. 
Uh, there's a thing that failed on this car that I never thought could fail on any car. It's just a weird thing to fail. But yeah, the other, otherwise the car has been really good, really reliable. I've been using it as a daily driver uh, for nine months now, eight months. Yeah, I bought it in December. So yeah, eight months I've been using the car uh, as a daily driver and uh, I think, you know, the car is good. I love it. Well, I have also gone stage one and yeah, that, that you need to get a stage one map done ASAP because the difference is obvious. Like the car just pulls so much better. It's uh, from it took the car from 200 to 250 horsepower and the car is just so much more alive so that takes boost pressure from 0.9 bar I don't know what that is in PSI to 1.2 or 1.1 bar somewhere around that I think it's 1.2 bar and the car gets 250 horsepower just like that just from you know plugging a computer in and, and that's it so yeah that's wonderful I've got that done and the car pulls so much better but as you will see in the you would have seen already at the beginning of the video the car wheel hopped so much on that launch that I might need to redo it but probably won't because poor car and clutch another thing that I've started noticing on the car is the clutch started vibrating when the car gets into boost like I found that out not obviously holding the the foot, not resting the foot on the clutch, but uh, just random vibrations and then I rested my foot on the clutch just a little bit while I was accelerating and the the clutch is vibrating really bad so I think it, this is a flywheel issue because on the, I think it's called the dual mass in English, uh, flywheel, the car when it is going out just starts to shake uh, violently when uh, the boost comes in so where there is when there is more pressure on the clutch and the flywheel itself so I, I think that might need changing well it is actually time because you know it has 190,000 kilometers on it and this is the last thing that I will talk about in this video that I've told you I will talk about that I didn't think was gonna break and this is the blinker stock uh, what do you call it yeah the blinker stock the thing that moves up and down where you engage the the blinker or the what's it called yeah the blinker I don't care it's a blinker uh, so yeah let's hop inside the car and I will show you what it does so don't mind all of the lights here this is for the bulb and the washer fluid anything like that don't worry about that but when I turn the left blinker on okay blinks left right turn it off put on the right blinker nothing happens I've actually you know engaged it watch when I pull this up see the left one starts to blink see now I'm holding it and the right one is blinking just there in the corner and when I let it go the left one starts blinking so now nothing works now the right one works so this is just a really funny problem that occurs to me so yeah this occurred to me but hopefully it doesn't occur to anyone else uh, because this is really annoying and quite dangerous to be honest uh, when you're on the road so I got the stock actually on order you can only get it uh, from the Audi dealer there are none that could be um, shipped here or found either like you cannot get it aftermarket and it's 80 euros so that would be around 60 pounds if you're from the UK and about 90 dollars I think if you're, if you're from the US but I don't know how the prices are where you live this is just the prices where I live so yeah this is about it what I wanted to talk about in the video uh, should you get the car absolutely you will love it I mean if you don't have kids yeah you will love it if you have kids just get like an a3 maybe that's a smaller version of something bigger or an a5 like a 2 liter tfsi that's also good or a 3.2 even better for the sound uh, so yeah i would like to thank you all for watching and from the recent support from everyone watching the videos i love that thank you very much please like the video Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.